Right measurement off of there. And then good there. A little bit of lock tight. And tighten the left nut. Ninety percent of the time when people are getting missed shifts. If it's a problem with the trans itself, it's gonna be this adjustment. The other time it'll be this not being tight enough. They're gonna feel like they have to shift really hard and this will be loose. So having everything tight, all the linkages tight is extremely important. So. After I tighten the lock nut, I'll actually take another measurement too because sometimes the adjuster will turn a little bit. But. Spectra Oil specifically designed an oil for the six-speed trans. Um, for work with Spectro and they developed the formula. Um, they actually got them to prepackage the bottles also in exact amounts, so you could dump the entire bottle in. Trans takes 23 ounces. This bottle has 23 ounces in it. So it comes in the bottom of the kit. But you know what, by June 20th, we're going to have an iPhone ready for That'd be great. We won't be using Chrome. This is the camera that hooks onto my bar. It's a fucking one. And the, uh, the controller for it. Now, at this point, she's an hour late. Now, at this point, she's an hour and 20 late. So. Yeah, there you go. We could do, like, protein bars and, like, all that nutrient shit. But okay. the way that this trans is it's not an overdrive, it's a direct drive. The way that it works is it's actually overdriven in the primary. Um, 99% efficient, power directly goes in and back out. We run a different size compensated sprocket. Um, here's stock. Here's the new Baker one. Comes with the sprocket, new chain, and a new fatter shoe to accommodate the length of the chain. So basically the gear ratios are different inside the transmission, but to get that to work correctly for a final drive, we run a different size compensated sprocket. While Evan finishes up the primary, Tim is actually hooking up a unit that will recalibrate my speedometer to uh, accommodate for the new six-speed gear. Triangle plugs? Yeah. Great. Uh, let me do this. Triangle plugs? Yeah. Great. Uh, let me do this. Basically what it is, it's just a speedo recal unit and uh, when you're doing the testing, usually with a GPS system or having someone drive alongside you at about 50, 60 and 70 miles an hour just tracking it and giving it a heads up, when you're pacing at about 50, if you need to go up, you just hold the up button down and wait till the speedo gets there, then at 60 and then at 70 again and then at that point you just tuck this thing away underneath the seat on this model and just put the seat back on it. That's all it is. So, <laughs> that was during playoff hockey. I had a wish by a few minutes.
information here in case somebody needs you to use it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Did you watch the video on the next No. I love that. After Evan finishes adjusting the clutch, he throws on the outer primary, and we're just some fluid away from an official test ride of the new six-speed transmission. The best part of this story is spending time with Evan, Tim, and Trish. These guys are like family, man, and they really took care of me. Some beer and pizza, even a late-night visit to the original Daisy BB gun manufacturing plant. I had a great time in Michigan.